Because you've seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creators. There's a movie right. on mine that, that also had the canon same, like, ah, there's this moment in it. It played off. Like, I, 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 I moved down a few spots, and it's no longer on my top five list. Not that it's not a great movie, but it's it's similar. Like, I had to do some rearranging as we went. Okay. Yeah, I went I went beyond top five. I was just movies that I feel are Halloween. But you, Ken, please go. Tell us. Uh, give us your list. Your sweet suffering. Regale so, us uh, of your list. <laughs> a couple, a couple uh, shout-outs from my wife. She wanted to mention twitches with the the maori the maori sisters um t and tamara maori uh where they're tw- they're twin witches and they are separated at birth and it's a disney thing check it out i'm in um, on it let's do okay. this yeah okay yeah. yeah i'm sure there's a trailer for the, the those watching at home uh it, but yeah yes. it's 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 it, the sister sister girls it better Never have a theme song that says twitches twitches <laughs> Never knew what I missed it. I don't know. Um, I have seen bits and pieces of it. It's, it's, it's just an extended that... episode from the show. It, it, it was, yeah, it was the it Halloween was the, episode. The Halloween episode. <laughs> Somebody just cut out <laughs> a, a, like a witch hat, just put it on them in each frame of the episode. <laughs> um, and then also Halloween Town, which I guess is another uh, mm. classic kids one. Um, okay. So. Uh, in Good. no particular we'll order, yeah. In no particular order for me, I'm gonna uh, first hit him with the thing. Uh, John Carpenter's the thing. Nice. The uh, very creepy isolationist. Um, I was gonna say, is that okay? I guess. I would have thought yeah, it's a horror just because movie. of the environment. Yeah. It was yeah. A yeah. Movie. And then there's snow, but I don't. I don't yeah, know. Christmas-ish, it's not. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You have that kind of idea. I don't. They actually, I'm kind of thinking, I'm trying to remember what, I think there there may be around a holiday in that movie. I'm trying to think if there's like something in the background, but my brain just goes like, okay, if I'm going to watch a, a scary movie, yeah. the thing is a scary movie. That thing is intense. And um, yeah, the thing, um, can't th- suddenly remember his name, Kurt Russell and Keith David, David. Uh, the guy who, Wilford Brimley is in there as well. Uh and yeah, just just the creepiness and the, the like the, the tenseness of like what is like any of us can be infected. Any you can't trust anyone. That is very much uh, a very scary, tense movie for me. And so that's one of the my, ones that come to my mind. Um, I also recommend the video game that was created after it was kind of, as kind of a sequel before they had the prequel, which I haven't seen yet. That takes place at the, the one Atlantic for base. Uh, no, there's a one for PlayStation. Maybe PlayStation Two, um, called the thing, and John Carpenter did actually uh, had a hand in it. And there's like these cool elements where you you're playing through the base, and like you have these testing vials where it's like you can check check your teammates to see if they're infected. And it like if you if you see a thing and you kill it, like they'll they'll trust you more. And like there's a really good like trust system built into the game, trying to manage like okay, who's actually with me? Who's on my side? And who's infected by the the alien? So this this is I mean I'm as a video game it's among us but where you can be infected like I'm yeah. just thinking like if you made a modern video game where it was like multiplayer like online you could do something like that yeah 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 and that that's so yeah that, that was a really good game and I I enjoyed it but I also enjoyed it because of the the nods and stuff too that they do from the original movie and I think the original movie is just one of those really great classics and so that's that's what puts it in my list. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, nice. And then <clears throat> well, a lot of mine are probably going to be pretty dated. Uh, I also have Scream on here because just it came out at the right time. And it was like the the re the reawaking of, of the horse slasher film. They'd kind of gone off. They they died out after like the they got too goofy for a while. And the the the. the... I'm trying to like, yeah, Freddy becoming a goofball. Yeah, Jason, it's... Jason, and takes New York. Mm-hmm. I mean, Freddie had for this is this is post. Um, Freddie's dead. I think this might even be after New Nightmare, but I'm not sure. Like, it's... I, it is because New yeah. Nightmare. A lot of the stuff that like you can see the ideas of Scream in New Nightmare. <clears throat> yeah, and so it's like it had totally got like Freddie had died. Freddie had fought the Dream Warriors, where like he fought a wizard. So things were there. Definitely, like Freddie was no longer that threat and. 
a lot of them had dropped off and so scream was kind of a really cool a really good nod and like return to form for uh john carpenter am i right am i no west craven west craven Craven. so Uh, they he does watch uh jamie kennedy's character does watch halloween in the movie yeah um so yeah that's screams on my list um jumping back in time i've got tales from the crypt demon knight with billy zane oh, and yeah. just a bunch Wait, of is that ben, is that a, what's the, his name uh uh what's that Close the first the first uh jada pinkett smith oh, billy zane um, yeah jada pinkett smith she's the yeah um the first movie where i heard filters hey man nice shot it was played oh, wow, in, the yeah. in the trailer okay yeah, I do think Demon Knight came out around around the same time, didn't it? Uh, it's ninety five. Yeah, I think didn't Scream come out ninety five or ninety six? Oh, when did no, I don't know when Scream came out. The original, the problem is like SEO wise, there's a bunch of it's a film franchise, so like there's also uh, a TV show. Oh, 96, 96 for Scream. Okay. But even right. even with even with Tales from the Crypt, the it it was very much more tongue in cheek. Like it wasn't it was scary, mm-hmm. but it was also not serious and. It was very like it's it, because it was Tales from Crypt. You had the Crypt Keeper, and you had the bit of a goofy slant at times, which I enjoyed as a kid. As the, of probably too young to or too young to be watching this, but I still enjoyed it. Fifteen, a, I guess that's, I was fine. I'm fifteen. It's, yeah, that's, we're good. That's a good age to watch Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. And you're right, it's goofy, but then it's got like some real serious, like oh, the blood of Christ. Like it goes, yeah, yeah, way, it's, it's, way, like wow. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? What is there? The, 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 and yeah, William Sattler plays a great character too. Like that's there's all a lot of great moments in there. I just I I really enjoyed it. So Billy Zane just eats the scenery. Krim, have you seen this movie? Have you seen this? Yeah. Have you heard about this? I have. Yeah, but Billy Billy Zane just chewing that scenery, just gnawing <laughs> on it, having a good time. This is a pre-Titanic Billy Zane too, so he doesn't have that Titanic money to lean on. Yeah, did CCH <laughs> powder in there? It. Uncle Willie. That's for, right. Uh, Miller. She loses an arm. Mm-hmm. Thomas Hayden Church. There's a there's a lot of like good players in this. Wait, how many yeah. Oscar winners are in this? Thomas I don't Hayden know Church who... won an Oscar, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, Did maybe he? not. Maybe just he was nominated. One Oscar nominees. Mm. It's... There you go. So yeah, uh, Demon Knight, one of my favorites. Not kind of put not Bordello Blood. Bord- a Bordello Blood would have made a longer list, but not in the well, not not my top five. Although Dennis <laughs> Miller, I, I'm telling you, like. I, and maybe because Dennis Miller fell off a bit for me for other reasons. Oh, but, really uh, hard. Why don't you calm yeah. down there, Kimo Sabi? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, and then getting further down the list, we've got Monster Squad, the Shane Black classic Monster Squad. I don't remember that one. You don't remember she, Monster Squad? Oh my God, I love that. Five five kids essentially <clears throat> who have a monster club. Fight off the 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 Wolfman, Universal man, Horror Monsters, the Universal Horror Monsters, the Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, yeah, John of Butcher from the Black one. Lagoon. Oh my goodness, that this is a watch. We this is like I we need to be we need what a is, night where we watch a movie together. Yeah, that is, this we we may need to. That is, this that is may this may be a live viewing. All right, get on the Patreon, Kareem. We're doing yeah. a live show watching <laughs> Master Squad. <clears throat> we'll, we'll toss it up on Twitch for you guys. That is, yeah, that is that is worth our time. I I feel like I shouldn't say anything else. I'll just leave Let's it at leave that it because, there. yeah, we've okay. we've. Uh, so then the the last one on my list is going to be Hocus Pocus because it's Halloween focused and it's it it's just good. feels fun. That's my little yeah. brother loved that movie watching, so we watched a bajillion times on VHS, and he even had a little stuffed cat that he named Binks, and. Aww. It's just a fun. It's, cute. it's, it's a fun yeah. Halloween movie. It's 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 lighthearted and just good time. I I I do want to point out something on your list. Uh, your number six. Uh, yes. Ghostbusters because I have watched that. We I've gone to a viewing on that on a Halloween, and that is a good time. And I never think of it as a Halloween movie because I always think of it first as a summer blockbuster film. Mm-hmm. But it's a nice watch for Halloween. There's it's also a moment where watch. they're. Yeah, they're also running through the streets in uh, Santa hats because it it's it's the <clears throat> during their montage like it goes through uh, Christmas. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's it's one of those ones we were talking earlier how like I when I mentioned I had one that kind of fell down the list because other things kind of filled up the space. Plus, it doesn't totally feel like a Halloween movie. It's just for me, mm-hmm. it's an 
it's a Tuesday movie. Let's watch. Let's watch Ghostbusters. It's yeah. awesome. So, um, and if I had to, if I was gonna throw another one out there, Army of Darkness because Ash uh, Williams is awesome. I always want to yeah. call him Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Gonna be honest, every time, <laughs> like Ash Ketchum. Nope. 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 Wrong property. Way off. Do it anyway. Yeah. I will. He's got to catch all those demons. Catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch... The... No, we're not. Dang it. <laughs> you can put that it's in my done. head. It's yeah. done. It's, Switch it's it to Chin there. Pokemon. Go South Park Chin Pokemon. It'll help. There you go. Got to buy him. Got to buy him. Got to buy him. It's Pokemon. Hooray. Hey, kids, do you love Chin Pokemon? Yes. Well, now you can buy your very own. I've got to buy Chin Pokemon. I've got to buy it. I've got to buy it. Now you can collect them all. Furry Cat, Donkey Tron, Pingin, Shoe, Lamb Toy. Collect them all and you can become Royal Crown Chin Poco Master. Royal Crown Chin Poco Master, holy sh! All the Chin Poco Man are in stores now. Chin Pokemon is Super You Love Toy number one. Got to buy it, Chin Pokemon! Nah. All right, Kareem, you're up. Let's hear your list. Let's hear your Halloween list. Your movies uh, that mean Halloween. Halloween to you. Yeah, um, I had Halloween on there as well, just because I think it, as we talked at it, 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 it kind of encompasses really. everything. It's hard as not far to as be, Halloween's yeah. concerned. Uh, I also had Scream Up there because it too was, um, it involved masks, which I think in retrospect is kind of leading towards the Halloween. People wear the, the uh, slap, uh, what's, his, uh, what's well, his name? And it takes place the on costume. Halloween, right? No, I don't believe so. Oh, Scream? they're just having a house party because her dad's out. That's right. Yeah. Correct. But then he's watching Halloween, so okay. Yeah, but well, he's yeah. he's a he's a movie guy though, so like he yeah. works at Blockbuster. So he him watching it, yeah. any movie, he's watching like, horror movies in general, which is yeah. kind of like what they uh, kind of glean off of. But so those two were out there. Um, we were discussing off mic about The Exorcist being one that I had watched during Halloween. I have, I no longer watch that movie ever. So um, <laughs> that was a was a one time Halloween adventure for me. Um, then there are some zoo. other ones. <laughs> um, trying to think of other Halloween s ones because, like I guess that there is a difference between like horror and the Halloween. I also had Hocus Pocus because my mom, uh, my mom, my sister, and I uh, would watch that every Halloween because she was a huge Bette Midler fan to begin with, uh, and then I think she also started watching Sex and City, so she became a Sarah Jessica Parker fan as well. Uh, but it also happens on Halloween, so and. You know, before Disney figured out that it had a sweet golden property, uh, <laughs> local networks would take you know, take advantage of it. And like you said, play it on Halloween or KCOP or USA or something like that. It's a fun uh, movie. So, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, over time, The Nightmare Before Christmas became one for me, um, mm. even though it's I guess, a mix of the two Halloweens or whatnot. Or, I mean, the two holidays, the ho yeah. uh, two fall, fall holidays. Um, and that was for the most part the ones I can I, think of that were Halloween specific that weren't just horror movies I watched. Oh, and it it was a Halloween staple as well. That's, if I could the, that's good. Watch, original, if I could, if, the Tim yeah, Curry yeah. one, correct. If I could stay up <laughs> and watch the whole thing, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had to. We all it was much, much in my throat. It was much scarier in 1990. Oh, yeah, yes. well, much more terrifying. It's one of those movies where it's like, I. I look maybe maybe not in the same vein, but I I look back at it. And I'm like I was really scared of that, um, but like Abbeville well, Horror, there was another one where I'm like, oh no, I that's not on the list because I don't want to uh, talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I was James scared. Brolin one. I don't even remember. I just remember seeing one as a child and like being. Was this deeply, James Brolin like, one? There's the James Brolin, yeah, and then there's the Ryan Reynolds one that was more recent. Uh, oh yeah, it was definitely an older one, the Brolin one. Yeah, wait, Josh James Brolin? Oh okay, yeah. yeah. James Brolin, that one, the seventy nine one. But as, as we Brolin, discussed, Brolin. any movie where you move into a new house is basically <clears> that. It's true. Um, I mean, some variation of it. Yeah, and seeing it at such a young age definitely doesn't help any frame of like just like what? No, there's bees, not bees, <laughs> not the bees, <laughs> not the bees. <laughs> um, no, no one said House of Wax with Paris Hilton, so we're all failures. Um. I have issues with Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> but I don't think it's actually with Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's with the fandom of Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. I see and that. also, it ruins the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland every year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very. 
very the, valid reasons. The views expressed here by the Ginger Giant are not those. These of are my the own. Giants. These are my own views. Yeah. I totally yeah, we'll get your money, Disney. Continue to like and subscribe. We won't, we won't share it with Pat, though. <laughs> That's we'll fine. Just as long as somebody's myself. getting paid. But he will be there uh, for our Monster Squad watch. Um, brought to you on yes. Twitch somehow. We this is this yeah, is we'll a legit it. plan. We should do this. Yeah, we can do this. Hey, this you're the not... Twitch guy. We're just gonna. I will. Yeah, one. we'll do it. I am on board. Hey, don't talk about his tick like that. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Um, I don't know. I, I was just discussing this with Lisa recently because she hadn't actually seen this one. I thought like hmm. it was kind of a rite of passage for most for most women, but the craft was something that was a Halloween s one because it dealt with witches and what's up? Good. She hasn't seen the craft. No, I was because I, we were watching uh the Hocus Pocus two, the most recent one, mm-hmm. and I was mentioning to her that the young girls in the movie for those of you who haven't watched yet there's a second set of there's there's like sequels and stuff too yeah and i i told her it just reminded me of the craft and she was like what's that and i'm like you wait what yeah that uh she is of an age where i am hard pressed that she did not see this like that's and she grew up on the east coast yeah that's like that's that it's it's, it's the a rich nation over there. of the younger like it's 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 something that's like oh no it's formative for a generation the craft is like you it's uh it is the epitome of like teen 90s horror in many ways that other movies cannot be it is it is also just so much tied into like <laughs> female power like a kind of a female power fantasy that is not bad but is like ties into like high school politics and oh man. Yeah. And it's also got the same kind of like true spook. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I mean the same vibe as like twilight where it's like, Ooh, it's mm-hmm. spooky. Isn't it scary? Like, it's not, it's not like, it's not Amityville horror. It's like, it's the craft. It's twilight where it's like, yes, there's vampires, but I mean, you're, you're more likely to get an STD than you are to have your soul stolen. I don't know. There's I... Yeah, no, I was, I was very, troubled by this since so i told her like you you're gonna have to watch i mean i'm your husband if i've seen it you have to watch this <laughs> i mean i know wow, what you're watching know on that, halloween see? now yeah that's now now she's just gonna and after she watches she's like oh so a man's gonna tell me what to do get ready for no that. she's gonna watch and be like this is what you've been telling me about i'm like it, it was something 20 years ago look like, yeah it's a, it, if you if you had watched this when you were supposed to it would mean a lot to you <laughs> now you're just an yeah. asshole adult. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be a jerk. Enjoy your teen yeah. life. <laughs> it's definitely Pretty something much. that, like, it's it's so influential that the that scenes are stolen from it for <clears throat> animation. There's a specifically in X Men Evolution, they animated a scene oh. of uh, Kitty Pride and Rogue dancing to the craft. Like the the, the viewers can watch it now. But yes. it's like it's it's there. I'm like I, I, it's it's so of its age, and like it's it's weird to think that. I mean, I guess I think the circles so, you run in, but still, like to your point though, she was she's a West Coast girl of a certain age. How do you or East Coast? How do you not? Yeah, I thought they handed out like boxes of Tide. Like you just here you go. That's you're right on the same page as me. In case someone listening doesn't know, The Craft is a movie. It's going to be like mid nineties, ninety four to ninety six, somewhere in there, mm. and it's basically about a teenage witch coven. Yes. And the shenanigans that ensue because of that. 1996. All right. Yeah, well, all right. There we go. Yeah. With, I mean, you've got wow. Nev Campbell. Yeah. 96. Yeah. Big year yeah. for Nev Campbell. Yeah. yeah Party she's of like, Five. You know, actually, yeah. The Craft. Mm-hmm. Scream. Damn, Nev Campbell. But Nev Campbell. Feruza Bok. A bulk. Bulk? Yeah. Feruza Bulk. Yes, uh, that was like what, Robin that was Tooney. Like Robin Tunney. Movie that most Tunney. people know her for, except for that. And like, is it Tooney? American History Water X. Boy. I was gonna say Waterboy for for Fruza. Yeah, Ball. Waterboy. I think more people know her for uh, the, craft the craft. They do that though. I agree. I think more people know her for for, uh, for the craft than anything else. But then yeah. after, I I would say Waterboy over yeah, Waterboy. American History. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, for sure. And Rachel yeah. True too. I don't know what else. Edward Norton made sure of that. <laughs> My he always bitch. does. Oh, also Skeet Ulrich is in this too. How is yeah? Like oh, he just he like, they like left. They, they just... took like they just took like the same tram to the other set. Like <laughs> you Breck and Meyer. I forgot about Breck and man. I like Breck and Meyer too. Everyone, everyone forgot about Breck and Meyer. He's awesome. He's one of Franklin and Bash. He's half of the Franklin and Bash. 
Do you know which one he is? I'm out. He's 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 is he the bash? bash. He's bash. He's Wait, absolutely who bash. Who played Franklin? Um, that would be Zach Morris, if I remember correctly. It's uh, Mark was Paul it? Gossler. Oh, it was. Well, I'm, now I have to go back and make sure that I know that he is the. Fr- Wait, is I it? said he's Franklin. I said he's a Franklin, and, and <laughs> you said he was the bash. I said he's bash. Okay, then I, let's hope he's the bash, and I'm not that dude. Come he on, is TNT. Franklin. Dang it! You know drama. Oh, you're that dude. I'm that dude. These white guys look all the same to me. I know that they're <laughs> you know, like a foot apart in height because Mark Paul Gossler's like a a tall dreamboat and Breckin Meyer's a short dreamboat. Heather He's Locklear. Well, what, what? what is she gonna do after Rose at Melrose Place? No, in Franklin and Bash, it looks like her in the picture. Oh, gotcha. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. That that show had it the seasons. Was that the, that was a USA one, right? I thought it was. I want to say this was a Fox, but who knows? This This show, Franklin and Badge, was on for 40 episodes. Yep. That's incredible. That is is a shocking amount of episodes for the show. Yep. It is Is a TNT show, eventually. And they do. Uh, It is just shy of getting syndicated. Syndicated. It was three seasons. No, that's syndication, right? Don't you hit season three Uh, good? 50, no, it's 56 episodes, depending on. So Uh, it was 56 back in the day for like animation. I'm and sorry, then, Franklin and Bash. Yeah. They wasted just enough time. <laughs> and for that hour-long sucks. dramas, it's like a, a hundred episodes is usually like that's the moment you're like a hundred. Well, because like that's when because I'm mean, I'm getting stuff. Shit, Game up, of but... Thrones still can't be syndicated. No, yeah, fair enough. It, it shouldn't be. be. Game of Thrones is not. We're gonna gonna go on a tangent now, but Game of Thrones that show went downhill quick, and this new series ain't winning no awards for me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! How dare you? This new series is awesome. That's fine. The, the, I'm you sorry. Watch, you go watch Westeros, your else somewhere else. Westeros the one percent. That's the that's the new show. That's all that hey, is. Go go chase your hobbits and elves somewhere else. Okay. Well, I will. Trying to Quite drag frankly, this show. I mean, you can like work. both guys. You can like no, you both can. of them. No, okay. Okay. No, the hey. line's drawn. Hey Biden, line why don't you shut up up there? <laughs> you shut. It's a million billion shows out there. What are you even talking God damn about? Moderate up there. Keep drinking, old man. <laughs> God damn corn cob. We picked our fiefdoms. You shut up. Love the middle, it's where I live. <laughs> middle of nowhere. Yeah. So yeah, that's our that's our picks. Get ready for next week's episode of Franklin and Bash. Uh Ooh, retrospective <laughs> time. 2011 to 2014. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you I would know, also suggest a... going to see the things that we talked about. Uh yes, absolutely. They, yeah, somewhere streaming on... somewhere. Look, you can and, uh, turn yeah, on don't, the don't make it sound like it's simple, Pat. It's no longer simple. AMC. AMC Halloween is going to be on 73 times. That's all AMC yeah. is going to play right now. If you have access to what AMC. What about the other ones? I don't know. No one, has, no one has access to AMC. It's got its own freaking network and nobody watches it. Or its own Man, app that nobody I watches. I hate streaming well, so a, much. There's a there's an entire streaming service just for scary movies, isn't there? Wasn't yeah, Shiver or something? Or was, is it still around? I don't no, know. No, Chiller is the... Uh, I killer. think Chiller is the podcast app. So yeah, Shutter. Oh, I thought that was the dating app for serial killers. My bad. Tomato, Shutter. tomato. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's actually plenty of fish. <laughs> Are you a success story? <laughs> no. No, I was oh, okay. on plenty of fish and then met my wife separately. Smart. Yeah. That's yeah, why I'm alive. Both, it, a foot in both worlds, huh? There you go. You know, dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. I ask it of all my prey. I I'm trying to think if I have bit... any honorable mentions at this point. <laughs> well, now I want to um... honorable mention Batman, the Tim Burton ones, because they look like Halloween. Part yeah, one, part two, it looks like Christmas. Yeah, part yeah. two is definitely Christmas. Because it takes but, place I at mean, Christmas. I don't want to give uh, t- t- Tim Burton any credit for anything because. Yeah. He's I don't like Tim Burton and his his publicist Bumble Ward. They can both take a short walk of a long hey, I, pier. I will nope. Other way. Right other way. Other okay. way. Long walk, short pier. Okay. All right. Like, no, he's just gonna death. keep walking. He's just gonna keep walking. Do, 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 do. No, he just has to stop and sit there and think about his sins. <laughs> uh, I had, in the last minute I had put up uh, the list from Vogue, which had seventy movies, and it did include your House of Wax, Pat. By the way, everyone likes to see Paris Hilton get killed. What? Who else was in that movie? Because we we've had House of How Wax. How dare uh, you, kid? On our, you know exactly on our who's in there. Before. Don't you bring I, this up? 
Don't you do this. Uh, don't don't you dare. I would say we don't had you dare. To, you know who How it did is. we get to that point before? Wait, isn't it uh Elijah Cuthbert, Kim, you assholes? Kim Bauer? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. I can never say her last that, that name was, correctly. That was the whole point. So <laughs> at least that I was just, my point. She's, she's Kim Bauer. Well, yeah, it's the girl next door. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. from Happy Ending. She's awesome. Yes. Not awesome enough. Blondie Mick asshole. Coyote gonna get me. But wasn't there someone they else did just have something pat? We had a whole that? fight about. We had a fight about something. No, that was the fight. The fight was that I thought she was the top building. You guys were like Paris Hilton was the draw. Paris Hilton oh, was the draw. Oh, that was the discussion. That okay, that has yes. not changed. That has literally gotcha. not changed. Paris Hilton is the draw of that movie. Fair enough. Well, I'll Chad say Michael was. Murray. I'm sorry, Chad, Chad Michael, Michael Murray. Murray. Yeah. <laughs> what has he done since then? Uh, Two Tree Hill is a out. sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's on Franklin and Bash somewhere. He, no, I think um, he, he's a Franklin's brother say, or Bash's brother. I would brother. be surprised. He's kind of Smash. I would imagine Hallmark movies at this point. But yeah, he probably. he was in the Ted Bundy American Boogeyman as Ted Bundy. He was in something uh, called Survive the Game. Oh, he that's was in Angel game. Falls Christmas. I Riverdale. Was right. He's a Hallmarker. You Hallmarker. Oh, no Hallmarker. He was I don't know why they have record for Jim on this list. That that doesn't make any sense. Would any of you yeah. recommend Blair Witch Project? Ah, uh, because it's not. It's... No, I don't want to throw up. Yeah, yeah. I don't. It's just it's it's fine. It's, it's not something I need scary. to go through again. It was it was a, it was something that in the moment was very much like oh what is going on, but even even looking back, I'm like I couldn't see anything. It was an episode of Game of Thrones where you're just like, huh? Yes. There you go again with the Game of Thrones bashing. It is hard to explain to someone that is under like 35 that we couldn't just go to the internet and get an answer. Like we couldn't just like, is this real or not? You you just like, well, I don't think it's real. This guy says it's real. And he was on a talk show. So maybe it's real. And there's all these GeoCity sites that say it's real. And they got little gifts at the bottom. So it's probably real. <laughs> I love a GeoCity site reference. Who doesn't, baby. I mean, Angel Fire people, that's probably who don't like it. It's... Those are pieces of shit. Well, they don't count anymore either. <laughs> they go fucking handle with Blogspot, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Just go take their Netscape email addresses and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is... What else do they got on this list? I'm just trying to make sure we covered everything. I mean, there's movies like they The Babadook, the which you hear are good. You got to check out. Um, okay. There's, there's the on. Bubble Hotep. Is, I, I have a rant. Okay, go ahead. Probably. Sorry, rant okay. regarding the Babadook, and this where, ties where, where, where into the, the most in? recent. Uh, this ties into the most recent Hellraiser. Okay. Sometimes you can make a horror movie just to be a horror movie. It does not have to be a metaphor for Greek or addiction, anything else. Zoom. Just can you off. hear me? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> we're but we're very puzzled as to. Why I your think, laptop turned think, against you? I think the Babadook got him. Yeah, the Babadook did not like so. your comment. The Babadook was like, "How fucking think, dare you?" Yeah, the camera's just, gonna come back in and just like, "There's gonna be a form moving behind you." And I'm like, "Well, yeah, it yeah, follows. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. out. Peace out." It follows. No, it's still nice. a it was nice knowing I'm him. Still it's fine. <laughs> hey, and it follows. How far do you have to go for it to follow? Like, what if you I just thought... do like hand stuff? Oh, <laughs> I, 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 like, I did. I didn't watch it. I can't give you an idea. Well, they, I mean, it is, I mean, okay, yeah. so it follows, spoiler alert, the whole point is it's like an evil entity that basically is an STD. If you have sex, it then follows you until it kills you and that goes to the last person you had sex with. And so you just keep having sex with different people to move it along. So it's like the ring for your genitals. Or any you, slasher film. Well, then, okay, yeah. then, then, I mean, we're... Uh, Good luck with anyone who's watching with their kids. You shouldn't be watching now. Sign out. Um, if you just do hand stuff, but then what if you lose your arm by the time it catches up to you? It does it just take the arm? I don't think you. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it matters. Like if you lose your body part you were using, I don't think that matters. I think it's the act of sex. But what are you Dang defining it. as sex? Okay. I mean, God doesn't count anal, so you, you got that. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, Catholics and Mormons can't be wrong <laughs> together. <laughs> well what what if like you're a mormon and you're soaking so there's no movement oh what do you mean just an asshole friend that jumps on the bed real quick 
Ah, why are you trying to murder me? <laughs> curses both of you. Good heavens. <laughs> if if anyone is interested in anything we are talking about, just type I in. I asked the words, you to pay me back. Pat. BYU this is for not paying me back. Google. <laughs> See you uh, in hell, bitch. But I, I, they may have even covered this in the movie. It's been long enough now. I don't remember, but I do want to know, I like, what, what's the line? Make any sense? Yeah, yeah. I think they were just talking about traditional sex, traditional intercourse. There you That's go. You missionary. Occurs. Everyone's unhappy <laughs> at the end, <laughs> and then they die. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Two thirds of humanity. Lesson for all you kids out there. Yeah. Don't do sex, sex, but do all the other stuff. All the fun stuff, like anal. (laughs) Uh, quick shout out to uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost for Christina Ricci and the and a. I uh, thought you were going to put another like added (laughs) advertisement in there. No, (laughs) shout out to Casper Mattresses for helping us with (laughs) anal sex. I mean. When I do it, I do it on a cast room. I'm just saying, I could we like when I when I need a new good night's sleep, <laughs> and I need probably a good a, a full size mattress. Hey, Casper, how you doing? Hey, you're dancing around what we just talked about, Ken. <laughs> okay, the anal's uh, what brings in the box. I need a good ass railing. I go to <laughs> Casper mattress. It has a cushion for the pushing. That's the... <laughs> so this is the best commercial they've ever had. Right, <laughs> most memorable, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, we really went blue this episode, guys. Yes. You, uh, yeah. Casper the Friendly Ghost was. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, rolling to the list right up there. Yeah. It's like, cause it's like, it's got, it's, I mean, Bill Pullman's fun in there. You know, the president, not mm-hmm. the game over, game over, Bill. Um, <gasps> damn. Um, it's got, and it's also got a Ghostbusters appearance by Ray Stance, which was fun for like a quick minute. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Um, yeah, I mean that that's a it's a good fun one for the kids. Was um, that okay? I'm trying to remember because I'm thinking back. Was that the one that had the tragic uncle, the tragic deaths of the uncles or whatever they were? Um, no, it that was they just like, kind of gloss over. <clears throat> they they don't even I the uncles were just a holes, and then like but didn't they die in like horrible ways? And then it's just like, oh, we're not going to talk about that. I don't know because I know that I know spoilers for those who haven't watched it. Christina Ricci's dad dies because of the uncles and then they have to use the machine to bring yes. they, they can only bring one person back and they bring back bill pullman <clears throat> so i mean i know there's that i don't know about the, about about the uncles and their horribleness or how they how they passed well, i mean it, technically it speaking, is probably all died. i mean casper's a kid so we, we have to keep that in mind he's all he, how did he die again uh the damp lung i don't i don't know <laughs> <laughs> he's a kid i, I don't know I I'm just saying, he, he's a cute ghost, say. but you got to remember, he he died as a kid somehow. Yeah. No, he had the um, Andy Belanakis disease. Mm. Uh, so he lived a long life and just looked like a kid when he died. Yeah, that's right. No, that's just too nice, Pat. <laughs> this doesn't work in this world. <laughs> I just, uh, just a cast. You know, he, you know, what he died from. Someone poisoned his candy. Oh. Uh, oh. He's one of those victims. Yeah, because we all know the one thing you want to do with drugs is waste it on kids' candy. <laughs> hey, what do you want to do with all this fentanyl we have for some reason? Jam into these Snickers bars. <laughs> and then not watch and then not watch them die because we have no idea who who takes it. Yeah. <clears throat> None whatsoever. This is a this is this a dumbass the... plan. Oh my god. But did, I think I was listening to, I think you and I were listening, or I don't know if you listened to the episode yet, on Daily Zeitgeist, they went over the history of this of this myth of, mm-hmm. of uh, how it kind of started and where it came from. And they said there have only been 50 years since it's been kind of been floated around or whatnot. There have been two deaths, I believe, related to this. And both of them were for, like, they were cover-up. They were used, this excuse was used as a cover-up <laughs> for a family accident. So like, uh, I think one of them, the dad actually, or was it dad or the uncle, wanted to kill the kid for the insurance money, and poison Damn. the kids or poison the kid's candy. The second Damn. one was I think uh, someone was doing drugs in the house, and the kid got a hold of like their stuff within the house, and ended up ODing on it. So it was never like, oh, I, I put it in stuff and let me give it to other people. It was like, oh shit, like a family member accidentally killed the kid. Yeah. 
purposely trying to. So. Way to bring the I, pod down there, Kareem. Well, Jesus. I'm just saying it. I'm trying to Wait. clear it up for people who are worried about That's candy. That's fair, I guess. Halloween. It's just like, like, this shit doesn't happen. So when you just, your candy. Yeah. When, when, you're, when I was a kid, I just thought it was a reason for my parents to steal my candy. Like, oh, this as one, parent, this one looks suspect. As, as a parent, I'll tell you right now, we don't need <laughs> excuses. Dad, why does all the Twix look That's suspect? Fair. Just just the Twix. Why is why is that the candy of choice? You me? know, my dad liked the orange circuit peanuts, peanuts, the little, you know, the like little yeah. styrofoam doorstops. Yeah. So that really helped. Like, yeah, that's fine, Dad. Yeah, that does look yeah. suspect. You Clear it out of the way. Like, get that shit out yeah. of here. Oh, get now, the now, I like, shit. Yeah, I like that. Now we will. Kid. You can do like the, the thing. Know? I don't know about as as a parent myself, what we do is just limit the kids at night. And then when they wake up the next morning, it's like, oh, where'd our candy go? It's like, you didn't get that much. I mean, it might have looked bigger in the bucket, but it's, it wasn't that much. Well, I mean, you have to eat the candy. Otherwise, they'll eat it. You're doing it for them. Exactly. Wait, wait. Like, so, I'm old. I can lose my teeth. Yeah. It's okay. On I'm that note, for you. do your kids, do you actually take your kids trick-or-treating like door-to-door, or is it more like event, or? Uh, before the pandemic, we went door-to-door, yeah. Okay. I'm just curious, because, I mean, for us in our neighborhood, we don't get any kids anymore. We haven't had that in a good long while. But we have friends who live like in a house, like on the street, like they, you know, suburbs and they get like 400 kids like they count because it's it's a big they love Halloween. So they're like, let's do this. And they go all out. And I remember as a kid loving Halloween because I would go out and I remember one year in particular, I went with my older cousin and went through an Irvine complex and just filled up on like just full size Snickers. Fuck. Yeah. And. I literally had like a trash bag full of candy. Like I would go back to my aunt's car, dump it out and then go back out for the next round of houses and apartments. And I was just like, this is the best thing ever. And at our apartments, we don't see any kids at all. And I'm like, is, is Halloween done for the most part? Like, I don't know. I haven't seen trick or treaters in the better part of the decade. We see them where I'm at. We do get trick or treaters, but I'm also in in a, a fairly large city. And it's dense enough that people are hopping around. Yeah. I buy candy every year. And like just in case, I think we've maybe had one or two kids. And I'm like, here, have like five or six pieces. Like, make, like this, the, it's, I'm, I'm just going to sit here and eat these peanut butter cups myself, which is fine with me, but I know I shouldn't. So have some extras because, but it's, uh, as, yeah. as a kid who grew up going to the nicer neighborhoods, mm-hmm. I always took that as, as an indication. I lived in the shit neighborhood. If they were coming around, I'm like, oh no, I'm the neighborhood. Yeah, I, I know I'm the shit neighborhood. I'm, I'm, I know that. I'm, I'm just like I, I hope that it still goes on because I remember it being such a fun time as a kid. Trick or treating was oh, yeah, just no, a blast. I it yeah. seems very much dependent on what city you're in, and we've built enough fear about trick or treating, and at this point that you see a lot of like, oh, we'll trick or treat at the mall. That way we get well, yeah. which is why like I brought up the the candy thing is you know people are like, uh, I'll buy parents are like I'll buy you candy, and as you and I were just discussing and can't and Pat's you know privy to as well, that was the fun part was going out and not only getting the candy, but at least from what I'm watching through my girl's eyes is the decorations are another big thing. You know they they're kind of young to like do the more scarier things, but they're still excited to see like, you know, um, uh, certain decorations and like giant, you know, inflatable dolls, things like that. They love to see that kind of stuff. It's like uh, a mini Christmas, so to speak. When you used to go drop, you go down certain neighborhoods that were like completely lit up because all of the neighbors kind of joined in on, on all of this. It wasn't just like one house and then everything else was dark. It was like, you know, if there was one big house, everyone else felt either obliged to, or they were into the end of the ho- holiday and you would have this whole street. And so, same thing happens for, you know, at least on Halloween for those neighborhoods that do birthday. It's like, oh, I'm not only am I getting candy, but I get to see all the different decorations. And, you know, as you get older, they have those like, you know, uh, at least prior to everyone being scared out of their asses. They, they used to have like the mini horror houses, like you can go through somebody's living room, front, whatever, out to their backyard and you get candy and you get scared and you continue going on or whatever. It's just, as Pat says, we are terrifying each other. So that's becoming less and less. It, there's yeah. there's just more money and scaring you. It's yeah. always more money in it, and it's also breaking down community makes it much easier well, yeah. to keep people separated. Also, there's the, the whole socialism thing. Like, uh, if you're buying your kids their own candy, I could sell you more. It's true. Wow, yeah, this this your took neighbor, a... your neighbor yeah, sharing you... everything. Like assholes, what are you gonna do next year? Sugar and then resources. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
the uh one other thing too i always loved was also getting like seeing the costumes like being like oh there's oh, another yeah. like there's yeah, this exactly. guy or there's that, that like that was like at school that day or what you know because it usually be like that friday or whatever whenever it was like that was definitely a fun like i love seeing costumes that's what i mean that's an extension of comic-con for me now it's just like i get to see all the cool costumes like that's awesome so yeah, yeah. i mean so it to, to your point though, again it, it does happen it's still happening good to hear um maybe just not in your neighborhood uh yeah as a well yeah this is the shitty part of the uh, part of the country nation state I, what have you i think you guys just hate kids it's all your neighbors right. are just anti-children yeah or, you, or I mean, you probably have a lot of neighbors that just turn the lights off and kids are like, whatever, dude, uh, I'll hop on a hop in a car. We'll go somewhere else. Yeah, that, which is fine. But like I if if they have a better time there, then I'm totally cool with that because they probably have a like they'd go through this apartment complex and be like, uh, we got a bunch of crap or we didn't get anything at all because there's only like the one dude who me who's giving away candy. And like we had Christmas. I remember we get Christmas lights up just so, or not Christmas lights. They were lights that you turn to orange and, and green just mm-hmm. to be like, oh, hey, and. Like next to nothing, like still. I'm like, all right, it's fine. My wife, though, as you can see here, has are has put up a pumpkin in the in the shot it. and uh other things around that. She's like, it's it's time to decorate for the holidays. So here we are. No, no, Lisa, Lisa's all uh, very much the same way. Like we have a whole sub drawer thing full of hollow like decorations for every every holiday. So we just put up our uh the girls went out and picked it a uh, Halloween unicorn thing that lights up in the front yard now and we have like pumpkins everywhere and stuff like that. So yeah, still happens. Just depends on your as area. Often as yeah. Yeah. Good to hear. Kids so are from... still having fun out there sometimes. <laughs> Despite yeah. what the media is trying to get them to do. Exactly. Stay home <laughs> and eat your candy by yourself. To eat your candy. Don't have other people's candy, damn it. Woody, don't <laughs> share candy. Yeah, this is that's a social society. Candies. We're not that's communists how you start, here. That's how you I, start vaping. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen people like, we're not communists. We don't give away candy here. Like, fuck you. Get the fuck. What is that? That, that? Yes. That has yes. nothing to do with anything. It, it just, doesn't. But you're being people, neighborly. People are dumb and they don't, they, they listen to stupid people like the former president. God in heaven. Yeah. Uh, fuck this, you, This entire conversation <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why does I'm just looking at the list one last time before we close this out? They got Black mm-hmm. Swan up there. <laughs> that one is either it's it's creepy. It? It's an atmosphere. It's a creepy oh, movie. Man. Like if you watch it, it's, it's like for you. there's there's some body horror in there and just yeah. Okay. Also, her how, mom is how, just fucked up. I just realized yeah. from Dustal Dawn is nowhere on any of this on this list. And I'm like, that's a that's a Creep. That's a, like vampires and whatnot. I guess it's more. I think, I think the gun. Maybe. Horny. I think, I think yeah, the gun usage is also because I, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe right. But also the, the pod yeah. with like a slasher, the slow suspense of of a of someone using a knife or yeah. blunt object is different than like I'm gonna start just pulling out sawed off shotguns and shooting vampires out of the sky. That's fair. I mean, yeah. It too many bullets. It's too horny. It's, uh, that's fair. I was gonna say the same thing could be said about Bordello Blood, but there's not, not a lot of bullets there. Very horny though. That Bordello Blood is yeah. very horny, <laughs> and 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 not good. Not a Pat, good film. I remember watching Ginger Snaps, but I don't remember the movie. And it's on this list. Do you remember it? Uh, it I remember. It they made a sequel. Yeah, they they made a couple. I think it's the one where they become werewolves and they're like teenage girls and they're okay. Yeah, yeah I'm aware of it. I just werewolves. it's yeah. I remember we tried watching like this isn't good, and I'm sure it's actually fine. But we were not in a place where we were going to enjoy it. Mostly Unlike because the Monster Squad catch us on Twitch. <laughs> well, at least what we know what we're doing on Halloween. All right, you got there it. you go. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna sub it in with Halloween three. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Five more days till Halloween. There we Halloween, go. Halloween, Halloween. Six more days till Halloween. This time, kids, uh, the clock is ticking. Be in front of your TV sets for the horathon, and remember the big giveaway at nine. Don't miss it, and don't forget to wear your masks. The clock is ticking. It's almost time. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween.